In this tutorial, we'll protect ourselves by making this very cool custom armor. Let's see how that's done. So making custom armor, how hard can it be? Well, actually, it is fairly straightforward and very similar to how we made the custom tools that we made before. And first, we need to make a new class. So in our item package, we're going to make a new Java class. This is going to be the mod armor material. And this is going to implement the eye armor material. Now, we'll hover over this and implement some methods. As you can see, there's a few types of methods that we have to implement here. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to be fine with this. And now to check out, OK, what does this entail? We can we can hover over the eye armor material interface, press Control H, and then we will see the armor material here from Minecraft itself. Let's double click that, close this, and then we can see the armor materials that Minecraft adds, anything from leather, even chain, all the way to netherite. The great thing is that we can also see what the individual values are that are passed in for each of the different type of materials. And we can also see the fields as well as a very nice constructor. We're basically going to just copy over all of the fields and the constructor as well. And we're going to use this in here. Right, then we change the name here to mod armor material and then all of the errors should go away. What we'll also do is we'll make this an enum and we will add the semicolon just floating in the air up here. This is similar to how we've done it in the tools tutorial last time. Let's make this a little bit nicer to read. And overall, this is actually all we need to do. Now we just need to return the correct things. Now, in theory, what you could do is you could literally just take everything in here and also copy it over like this and then bam. And then that's it. The only thing we need to change is get name. This should return tutorial mod dot mod ID plus colon plus this dot name. Apart from that, the rest can actually stay. Let's delete this comment as well. Then overall, the mod materials are done. We now only have to define a certain material. Of course, we're going to define the amethyst material. So to do that, we'll navigate here in front of the semicolon and we're going to say amethyst. And then let's see what we can do. So the first thing that we need to supply is a name amethyst, then a damage factor. We can once again take a look here and see, okay, what are the damage factors? Let's say amethyst is at around the gold level. So let's say seven, just for the sake of argument, then we can make a new integer array. And those are going to be, as you can see, the damage reduction amount array. Now, where is this used? This is used in the damage reduction, depending on the slot. So the idea is that we're going to go through each of the slots. We have four slots, right? We have a helmet, a chest plate, leggings and boots. And this is basically the idea of going through this. Now, this array starts at the boots and goes from bottom to top. So the boots is the first one. We can once again, for example, check out the different things here. Let's, for example, say something like iron is good, two, five, six, two, something like that, two, five, six, two. Then we want an enchantability. Let's just take 12 for the sake of argument. Then we need a sound event. So let's add a sound event. So sound events dot item armor equip iron, that should be fine. Then we can add a toughness. Now, if we actually take a look at the toughness here, only diamond and netherite gives toughness, but we can change the rules here and just add one toughness for ourselves. We will not have any knockback resistance. And then lastly, we only need a repair material or a supplier of a repair material. And that's going to return an ingredient from items, mod items dot amethyst dot get. And then the mod armor tier is done. Once again, if you want to add multiple ones, you then have to do a comma here and have this whole thing again. So obviously not named amethyst. So for example, copper or something like that. The last one always has to be with a semicolon. And then each one in between has a comma separated by them. Just so you know, I quickly wanted to mention that one more time, just so everyone is aware of that. With our mod armor material done, we can now go into our mod items and create the items. Like so often, registering the items is sadly a lot of copying and pasting. So we're going to copy our amethyst home and we're going to make this our amethyst boots. And of course, we'll change it up here as well. Boots. And instead of this being a whole item, this is a armor item. And then as you can see, we're immediately going to get a few errors. That's no issue whatsoever. This is the mod armor material dot amethyst. And then instead of a zero here, we're, we're going to pass in an equip slot. This is of course going to be feet. And then this is the builder of the item properties. And there you go. All of the values have been defined in the mod 
armor materials, so we actually don't need to do that many things here in the registry. So we can basically just copy this over four times and then just change each one of them. So this is the chest plate and chest plate. Then making sure that this is chest. Then we have the amethyst leggings, leggings, changing the equipment type to legs. And then at the bottom, we have the helmet, helmet, and then last but not least, the head equipment slot type. And that is the registration done. Now, of course, to the favorite part of everyone, the JSON files. Now, luckily, we are only dealing with items, so the item files are actually not too bad. I'm going to quickly copy them over. The contents of those are, of course, available in the description below. And as you can see, they are very much just normal item models that simply point to a particular item texture in the in the textures item directory. We have the boots, the leggings, the chest plate, and the helmet. Let me quickly get over the textures as well. Those are of course also available in the description below. And then we need one more thing, and that is going to be how this armor is displayed in 3D. So when we wear armor, we can actually see it on the player. And that of course has to be handled somewhere as well. And that is in the textures folder. We'll actually need a new folder called models. And then inside of that, a new directory called armor. Very important, only with an O. So to our friends who speak British English, I'm very sorry. It has to be armor with only an O, no U in there, sadly. And in there, we have two PNGs that go in there, so two textures, and they have to have the following names. This is very important. Amethyst, this is exactly the name that you define right here. So in the mod armor material, this has to match this name, and then it has to be underscore layer underscore one. All written lowercase, exactly like this. And then the other one has to be underscore layer underscore two. And this is how they look like. So this is the layer one and this is the layer two. Basically, this is the helmet and the chest plate and this is the leggings and the boots. The naming of those is imperative that you get this right, otherwise it will not work. Please make sure. Those, of course, are also available for download in the description below and you can use them. Or what I would advise is to go down to the Net Minecraft Client Extra 116.5 or whatever your version is and then use the armor models here. So for example, you could take the Iron Layer 1 and Iron Layer 2 and then modify them to basically suit your needs so that your armor both looks very close to something that is in vanilla, but still different. And of course, also don't forget to add the translation to the Ian US JSON just so that we don't forget that. Right, it's crazy, but that is actually all that we need to do to have our armor in game. So let's see if it worked. All right, once again, we find ourselves in Minecraft and let's see if our armor has been added. And indeed it has been added. So let's actually take this out and there you go. Let's actually switch to survival mode and let's put it on. As you can see, I've put it on. And if I go into third person, there you go. That looks really nice and it will protect from damage as well. That's really cool. As you can see, we can we can see the armor above the HP and we can also see that the armor values are exactly what we have put in the integer array. And just like I said, we start at the feet, then the leggings, chest plate, and then the helmet. So two, five, six, two. That's pretty good, I would say. Right, and this is how easy it is to add your own custom armor into Minecraft 116.5 with Forge. And this would also be it for this tutorial right here. Like always, everything is linked in the description below for download a GitHub repository as well as links to every individual script as well. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And I will see you in the next one. So yeah.